Got that new school swagger with that old school touch. Call her do this princess. That's your girl, Fizz Pump. Hey, you know how we hit them up. We put them down. What's going on, YouTube and the people of Thunderstruck Gaming? Your girl, Fist here. And today I'm actually bringing you guys a 29 and 0 flawless Moab gameplay. This is an assault Moab, by the way. This is my first one I've ever obtained. And you may not like the gameplay personally. You may think, oh my god, it's a little bit campy at times. Oh my god, gay CR, oh my god, MP9, MP7, blah blah blah. Whatever else you can try to criticize on this. But to me, this was another Moab, my first assault Moab. And I do place this on a high list of importance in my whole Call of Duty accomplishments. So... There you go. You don't have to like it, but it's out there. I want to say a few things, obviously, before I can get into my actual topic. And you guys know what's coming. One is the thanks. We have to give thanks to Thunder. Well, you don't really have to. But it's just the notion of, he's helped you. He's helping you. He's taking time out of his day to upload a video for you. This is time out of his day he could be spending with his family, with his kid, at work even. Although, if he had work, he wouldn't be helping you. Anyway, you, you get the point, you know. He doesn't have to do what he is doing. Therefore, we should be appreciative and, of course, thankful. Because he's giving you this opportunity that he already has. He doesn't need to showcase you. But he's doing it. So you thank him. And I want to say thank you, obviously, because, for one, it's really hard right now on YouTube to get anywhere. Unless you either kiss someone's butt, and this is what I believe, unless you kiss somebody's butt as much as you possibly can, or you get in good with big YouTubers. And I'm not about to do either or, so, you know, I don't have opportunities to be friends with a lot of big YouTubers. I am with some, but it's not like I'm going to ask them to do things. It's not like I'm going to ask them to push a video or anything. I just keep the friendship as a friendship. So, thank you for this opportunity to allow me to try to go the channel a little bit more. And I already know that there's going to be a lot of criticism in the comment section. I get it every time. I get it every, every freaking time I come on Thunderstruck Gaming. So, I'm going to give myself criticism. You want to hate on me? I already hate on myself, so you can try, but if I already hate on myself, there's no reason. So I already said all the criticism about guns, about even how I kind of played in this game. I'll give criticism on, oh my god, your voice sucks. Oh my god, is this a little boy? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, you're so young, you shouldn't even play this freaking game, kid. Oh my god. Uh, meanwhile, you <laughs> can't even purchase the game without a parent. Or, I love this one best. Oh my god, get back in the kitchen, <laughs> or any other joke you can possibly think about. Uh, to clear that up, to clear up the notion, 17, I can legally purchase this game by myself without a parent. I can legally drive, I even have my license, so for anybody talking crap, if you cannot do any of the things that I just listed that I can do, you should not be talking crap. Thank you. The end. Alright, so today's topic is actually going to be in regards to something I've been seeing on YouTube a lot recently. And on YouTube a lot, I noticed uh, this fad of putting out videos of how to grow your YouTube channel started all over again. I don't know how many of you guys have been doing YouTube for a long time or viewing videos on YouTube for a long time, but this has happened, I'm going to say maybe three or four times within gaming being popular on YouTube. People have done these videos over and over and over and over again. It's always a period of time. One person sees one person doing it and they do it. And honestly, it's always the same thing. You have to network properly. Know the right people. You know, put the best of your efforts in the video. And truthfully, I feel like you're lying to your subscribers. You're lying to your viewers. Right now, you need to get big. You can do that. But how much is that going to work? Because there's so many other people doing the exact same thing. For the most people, you got to know someone... Get that big YouTuber to help you, all right? That is how you get big. That's the truth. But it's not even the fact that people are making these videos is what made me have this as a topic. It was the fact that I noticed a lot of people in their videos said why they wanted more subscribers. Some people said subscriber interaction. You know, some people said they want their videos to be viewed by a bigger demographic. You know, whatever. But I feel like the one thing people aren't asking themselves is... Have they even taken into account how they may change if they get so-and-so subscribers? Because right now it's just a dream, right? Oh, I dream I can have 1K. I dream I can have 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K, 10K, whatever amount of subscribers you want. But honestly, that dream, it could come into reality for some of us. Imagine if it did. I noticed back when I had my other channels, back with this channel, I dreamt of having 1K. 1K came, I was happy as ever. And then it slowly started to make less and less importance because I had it. I got used to it. Habituation. 
all right? I got so used to it, like, it didn't have the importance that it once had. But I wondered this when I was watching some other people's videos. I'm like, do you guys know how much YouTube could corrupt your mind? Because a lot of people said, I'll always be the person who will constantly support any subscriber that comes to me. I'll always help people. You know, I'll always be nice, blah, blah, blah. And as much as I wish, I really wish that that happy-go-lucky mentality could happen, realistically, it can't. You know, when you get bigger on YouTube, some people get their mind corrupted. We've seen this time and time again within the Call of Duty gaming community. Their morals will go out the window. Once you get big on YouTube, you have to face it. How you're going to treat others, it actually is going to change. You're not going to have all the patience in the world, all the time in the world. You can't respond to every comment. You're not going to be always polite to everybody who comes to you because a lot of times you're going to be getting the same comments that can get annoying. You're going to be getting the same tweets that can become annoying. You're going to find people who you dislike, who you don't want to associate with. And come on, let's be honest. Are you going to be the most mature about every situation that you get into, about every beef you get into? No. You have to realize, if you want that growth on YouTube, this is my point, you better be prepared to see how you change. And it's best that you think about it now. Oh my God, so what could change in me? Am I going to become less humble? Am I going to become a little bit more arrogant? You have to look at yourself and just start to notice some of the flaws that can come out. When I started getting a little bit bigger in my sub count, I ended up becoming more of a perfectionist, which in return made me more demanding to people like GFX artists and stuff like that. It just shows anybody can change any way. It doesn't always have to be bad, though. You know, you can change in good ways as well. Perfectionist, better grades ended up coming out with my schoolwork. You just have to think about it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this topic. If you guys did, if you want to check out my other content, my channel will be in the description down below. Tell me what you guys think. Till next time, I'm out.